Hi everybody, welcome back. Oh uh, no. Fire elementals. Still, we've got some elementals too. Ah, we'll summon it nearer the time. No, we won't, they're already here. I can do hey, that. you got the same plan. The what have I got? Huge fire elementals. So he, two huge fire elementals against two large fire elementals. Although they're probably not even going to damage each other. Um, still, morally, we've got a victory. Is that all there is to do? Not again. I'll handle this one. You are going to regret crossing us. Here's the third one. Why are they all the way over there then? Maybe we're missing something. Let's keep looking around. Can I like this one? Let's see if someone else picks that up. Hmm. Does the journal give us a clue? And no one picked it up. And no one picked this one up. That's probably because we're in the middle of a fight, though. Well, I'm not sure. We're going to be able to get to these guys, you know? Where did they get all the way up there? Well, the marks on the map. Well, I'm not really sure how to get there. I'm not going to get there over this cliff. How about up there? This land is a bit sacrificey, I think. Which is a good thing. Okay, we're now too high. Let everyone catch up. Ah, now they have huge elementals. Was one of these against extra planar creatures? Should I have a third? No, I don't have a fifth one because that thief stole the fifth one. Fire elementals aren't really evil, are they? Nor are they undead. Okay. Well, I'm sure we did have some spells against extra planar creatures. Am I bracious lit? Nope. Oh, 
Well, there's lots of stuff up here. Let's have a haste spell. Yes. Follow me. Don't tell me there was a shortcut that whole time. Oh. Ah, so those hearts we collected, one. that's what we needed. But I have a bad feeling we only collected two. I wish my friends would start picking some of these items up though, because I'm going to miss them. Straightforward. Maybe if I turn looting off and then turn it on again, it'll reset. Oops, going the wrong way here. Have returned. Um, the braziers are all lit and the shadows are all dead. Well done. Do not rely on trust alone, sight alone. If you sense a threat, trust your instincts and use other means to root out that which hides from you. Now tell me about the three paths. Tell me about determination. The ability to disregard pain and loss and suffering and reach your goal, any goal. I've got an empty vial, so I think we need to fill this vial up from that little uh, little sulfur spring. And we've got, we know it, now it does magic damage. So if I had some item that would give me magic resistance, that would be a good thing. I'll probably enchant this for. Uh, one of my thieves. Okay, I don't think any of those are what I'm after. 
I might just have to cast haste on Chandra and have a run in. It's not a very clever solution, but it'll probably work. I assume she's got the most HP. Something you want? Yeah, by mile. Stop. We need to hold on. What's going on? All right, I can do that. And I suspect I need to give the vial to you. Follow me. Follow me, everyone. Yes. Grab a buddy and let's head out. Something you want? Um, what do we need to do? Try and catch some of the spray in the container. We managed to collect some of the acid water, but are unable to avoid the spray. Fortunately, your celestial resistances protect you from most of the damage. Oh, I'm back to Yanni for some reason. So, have I got it? Ah, well that's cool. That's a pretty little neat thing that they put in. Um, presumably because I'm a plane touched. Well, there's a pretty neat little, uh, neat little part of the quest there. He still thinks he's dead, does he? Follow me! Well, that wasn't a very clever way of doing that puzzle, but I actually had a far better yes. plan than the game let me use, so I'm going to take that as I did a very clever solution to that puzzle. Don't correct me. Yes. 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 I've confused all these AIs now, I think. Follow me. Oh, Jero again. Jero Guardian. Uh, we have the vial of burning water. What do we do with it? It is proof of your accomplishment, nothing more. Your willingness to suffer much for such an insignificant thing speaks well of you. Tell us about the path of righteousness. It is the will to do what must be done to achieve the greater good. A barbarian shaman often meditates at the highest point of this area seeking a vision from his god. When he receives that vision, he will unite a number of tribes under one banner, and they shall sweep over the land like a plague. Destroying him now will ensure that such a thing will not come to pass. Oh, so that's just hit something. That could have been cleverer um, than it is. Oh well. It would be nice if... I don't know if I rest there, if I'll get to see um, a vision from god. That would be pretty cool. Unless the challenge is knowing how to get there, because we did that by accident, didn't we? Yeah, he's up there. Just seems like... I don't know. We just accept... How did the Guardian know that that was going to be the case? Unless it's just an illusion. And if it's just an illusion, it's not violent killing him, is it? However... I don't think that's What's very, going on? If this is the puzzle, not a very clever one. Yes. I'm getting all those little clicks in the audio again. I don't know why. Hello, Mr. Shaman. I know why you have come, strangers. I stand before you unarmed, helpless. What will you do? I'd like to ask you some questions. I have no answers to give. The golem has told you about me. What will you do? 
Well, I'm glad it gives me this option, because you've not done anything wrong, so I have no evidence that you've done anything wrong. I don't want to kill you. Good, I wasn't feeling too good about fighting him. And yet you know that I may ultimately be responsible for many deaths. This is the truth. Um, well, I can't punish you for a crime you haven't committed. And neither of us have any evidence of that. So, it isn't right, no matter what may happen in the future. Very well. Face the consequences of your inaction. And it looks like we did some... Oh, no, Path of Righteousness isn't a monk thing, is it? Being a... Uh, Jumping ahead to think I'm doing Kelgar and I'm not. Threats go. That was not the world's greatest threat. I don't think that would run run roughshod over the whole world, if I'm honest. Follow me, everyone. Grab a buddy and let's head out. Oh. Yes. I don't know why that's broken. I must have pressed another option in the AI settings somewhere, mustn't I? But then it used to work, and I don't remember changing anything deliberately. Hopefully we'll load a new area and it'll sort itself out. I think there was a reset button at the end, was there? In which case, I might need to reset everything. Oh, I don't can't see where I'm going here. Yeah, there is a reset, so I can probably fix it if it doesn't sort itself out in the next area. Hello, Jero Guardian. I refuse to kill the shaman. For what reason did you stay your hand? Mercy? Hmm. Uncertainty? Yes. Cowardice? No. It is fortunate that you survived the consequences. You and many others may not be so lucky in the future. You have completed the test set before you. However, your words and deeds alone are not proof in themselves that you possess the blood of the Master. Oh God, my grandfather must have loved his privacy. Too much, I think. Shed a drop of your blood on the pedestal and the way shall open. Are you sure we're ready for this? If it was this hard getting in, who knows how long it'll take to get back out. Hmm. That is a good point. I don't know how long this video has been. It doesn't feel very long. Probably 15, 20 minutes. Uh, okay, well, let's go see our new blacksmith. And then we'll be back. Yes, what's going on?
Yes. I don't think I've got that much in my inventory to worry about. Uh, I'm not going to sort that now, we'll do it another day. Oh, I should have been reading that. That was actual stuff, was it? Oh, sorry. Uh, can we talk about upgrading my men's armour? I have some supplies left, I can make some new armour for your men. Anything specific you're looking for? And how are my men equipped now? No easy answer for that. A motley uh, selection, really. Some just have their cloaks, truth be told. Neverwinter's coffers are light. So many grey cloaks just come as they are. Well, to start with, everyone needs at least some armour. I'll make sure every man has some form of armour. It may not be the most ideal armour, but it's better than wearing the sackcloth some of them are wearing. Yeah, get started on it. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get straight to it. And he also thanked us for building this shop. And he's given us something. What's going on? Armor of comfort. So this is normal plate mail by the looks of it, with a heel. Oh, that's just a skill. Um, that's okay. We're probably gonna flog that, I would think. Yes. Oh, I just had to talk to him, and then he goes inside the shop somewhere, I guess. This is exactly where I'd like to be. Back in the service of the Grey Cloaks with a commander that doesn't have stones in their head. It's a right honour to be here, Captain. A real honour. Only one hitch, and with the Grey Cloaks, believe me, there's always a hitch. I was talking with Karna, and those tight purses in Neverwinter haven't given us enough funds again. So like Fort Locke, we've barely got two coppers to rub together. And half the club grey cloaks here have farmers' tools as weapons. I'd like to make them weapons for as near to nothing as I can, but I still need to pay for materials. Okay, well, let's buy some stuff first to give you some income. See, that's a very nice little enchantment on the fire better than I know how to make, and I could probably upgrade that to a plus five if I wanted to. So this weapon bears the mark of the Dwarf Bayron, a master blacksmith who worked from a makeshift forge in the Uthgart village of Barone as well. He forged it late in 1373 to aid the war effort against Lady Arabeth the Betrayer, who was then marching against the northern city of Neverwinter and the Lord's Alliances. So we could, if we wanted to, improve that probably. So this is a plus three weapon with regen and an AC bonus. So that's a very nice offhand weapon, Defense's Blade. I'm beginning to get some nice stuff in this shot. And Katana plus two, I'm pretty sure I made something quite a lot better than that. Still, he's got some... Oh, you've got 25 adamantine ingots. Well, maybe that other one wasn't a bug. Maybe he meant to just have loads and loads of adamantine. Certainly, we've got enough ingots now to make basically anything we want forever. Oh, and about the weapons, we should probably deal with that too. And you thanked me for building you the shot, I think, did you? No. Um, can we talk about upgrading the weapons of my men? 
Eager to help, Captain. I have enough material to provide new weapons for the men. What do you want specifically? Well, at the very least, I want everyone here to have a real weapon. And... Yeah, here's five grand. Just get started on it. The men won't forget this, Captain. Neither will I. I'll start now. Yeah, five grand. That's an enormous amount of money. So, we need to build something new. Well, I should ask Deacon if he can work in my inn, shouldn't I? So, I want to rebuild something. Uh, can I build any more buildings in the courtyard? No. How about the surrounding areas? Trail is fine. But we could have better bridges and watchtowers for safety. That's probably a good plan. Uh, yeah, let's have some better bridges and watchtowers. How much cash I've got now? Not a lot, 68 grand. How may I be of... There you are! There's Connor, my compatriot, and now the captain, eh? It's me, you know, David. My fellows and I have been adventuring for some time. You got my note about Port Last, right? Your Connor was right, you know. Dark deeds happening on the Luskin border. After that, we took to the road and I found an old lady and rescued a cat. We each got an apple. I'm certain this old woman was as charmed by your act as we are, no doubt. You know, apples might fetch a good price with some of the grey cloaks. Do you, uh, have them with you? Well, if it had been the captain doing it, the cat would be lost, the tree burned down, and the old lady would be traveling with us now. Keep to the point, David. Let's not take up any more of the captain's time. Right you are. Should I ask him about rumors? No, I'm sure the innkeep will have those. Do you know of any jobs for an adventurer? I still don't think these adventurers are ready to face anything more difficult than a sickly kobold. I didn't read the letter. I feel bad now. I should have read it. Actually, even in real life, I'm pretty bad at reading my post. I tend to let it pile up for days or weeks before I read it. Uh, have you heard anything about the King of Shadows? The King of Shadows? Why, yes. Juin! Candrel! We have our quest! To find out about the King of Shadows! Pack the saddlebags on the horses. There must be clues around. Adventure awaits! Sorry, Captain. Dayrid can be... well, you know. Blessings to you all. One of these days, Captain. You know you're going to get them all killed. Well, that's what happens to adventurers. Everyone knows that. I mean, we all die, like, on every map several times. So you're probably right. You have a report on the men we sent to the Halfling Village. Our cloak stationed at Leaves fought the bandits a few days ago. It was a bloody fight. The bandits were routed, and I doubt they will come back. The Halfling Mayor sends his thanks. How might be a service, Captain? Oh, well, that worked out all right. Let's have a look at the status. Oh, yeah, that's not the one I meant. Ah, nice. So we've got some more grey cloaks. Fairly civil. Well trained. Don't have much in the way of weapons. And... Oh, this is already ticked. That's good. Oops, I should have read that. You may be as sick of bandits as I, Captain, but we have bandit troubles of a more personal nature right now. We may need to organise some men to deal with this problem. Your orders, Captain? Um, yeah, let's deal with that. Bandits are a plague upon the land, and the brother of one you slain is out for revenge. You slew Jared Widowmaker just outside of Fort Locke. His half-brother, Doman the Ogre, has gathered a large band and has made his way to our lands. We, are here, he's, we hear he's afraid of you, but still wants to hurt you, and he will hurt you via your keep. We need to gather the men to meet this threat. The roads and the lands won't be safe until he's kept taken care of. Yeah, definitely take care of this mission. I will send the orders, Captain. So I guess that's what all our forces are doing. 
So I just need to chat to Deakin. Uh, unless you've got any more intel. Maybe that um, West Harbour really was a, a ruse. We want to go inside the shop wherever it is now, Jacoby. Let's go see Deakin. Oh. He still just stand out on the street. Um, is there anything you can do to help defend the keep, Deakin? Deakin not think so. Deakin tried to help. He usually get a lot of shouting and yelling and stones thrown at him, which make him feel like home. Still, Deakin think he may be underfoot to help too much to help. It's his way of things, being kobold. Okay. The shop's good enough for now. But... But if someone were to hurt Captain or Captain's home, Deakin think that would make Deakin very, very mad. Oh, well, thank you, Deakin. So, that's more than enough for this episode. I said we didn't do anything. Um, I don't know how long this dungeon's going to be. It implied it was going to be long. But there's only one way to find out. So join us next time for more Neverwinter Nights 2.